Welcome to Steelworks in Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation in Brewing. Okay, so what do we got for you today? Today we are going to talk about gravity points per pound, per gallon, and why it's important. So you might not want to miss this. Okay? But first things first, there is, like I always said, there's five things that you can really do to help this channel out. Number one, if you haven't had a chance yet, please hit that subscribe button down there. It's very easy to do and it really does help. Uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime we come out with new content. Uh, share us with your friends, get the word out. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And of course, leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay, so now let's get started. Okay. So I guess first thing we got to do is we got to answer a couple of questions. Uh, first, what you know, a lot of a lot of you guys know this, but you know maybe there's some people out there they're a little confused, so I can confuse them a little bit more. Uh, all right. So one of the first questions you need to answer is what are gravity points? Ooh, my glasses are dark. I was just outside. Anyway, gravity points. What they're referring to is the gravity points on your your hydrometer. Uh, so what a hydrometer does is it measures a specific gravity within a liquid. Uh, the long and short of it, you're measuring, in our cases, we're measuring how much sugar is in that liquid. Okay, we'll float it. Since uh, the densities are different when sugar is added and when not, it will float a little bit different. Okay, so that's that's the number one, one thing. The next thing we come up to is the uh, gravity points per pound per gallon. So what we really need is we need to be able to convert the unit of measures over, I ain't, I ain't sure if I'm saying that right, but we need to have data points, okay? So if we take, uh, we need to know if we took a pound of something and add it to a gallon of water, and then we can measure how many gravity points that is. So that's how we can build a recipe. So we would uh, know how much to use, okay? Uh, in our case, or in my case, I should say, when I build a recipe, I like somewhere between point, or 1.075 and 1.090-ish, okay? If we're too low on the gravity points, well, I feel it's kind of a waste of time because we're not going to get too much alcohol out of it, unless, you know, you're making beer or something like that. That would that would change it. But in the uh, distilling world, to me, anything below 175, I think we're just wasting our, not waste your time, but it's just a little low on the yield. Okay, and then if we go above 1.090 or 1.095 uh, we see we start to uh, stress out the yeast a little bit and it's just getting a little bit too much I think so that's just the numbers I'm comfortable with and uh, we can go go with that everybody does it their, their own way this is just my way okay so with that all being said uh, there is a couple of ways that you can get your data points. Number one, and it's not going to have everything, uh, you could go online, I think I got this line from beersmith.com, uh, and it's a chart of what all your different grains are, it gives you a little bit of information, uh, you know, where it's come from, the type of grain or an extract or whatever, and uh, the uh, part per gravity point per gallon per or per pound per gallon. Okay, um, that's one way. You can go online, find yourself a chart. I did find they're a little bit difficult to find, but you can find them. Okay, and the second way is you can figure it out yourself, and that's what we're going to do a little bit of experiment today of how we can do that. Okay. All right, so the first thing that would be the easiest to find out 
is we're going to just try some regular taper sugar. Okay. So what you're going to need is one gallon of water. And what we're going to do is dissolve one pound of sugar into that. Okay, so, so say we wanted to find out, you could find out anything with any of your sugars, uh, honey, um, uh, brown sugar, light brown sugar, corn sugar, uh, anything that is a processed sugar, you'll find out what your gravity points per pound per gallon, this is the way you would do it. So what, but to dissolve the sugars, we're gonna need a little bit of heat. So what we'll do is let's warm this water up a little bit and then we'll dissolve our sugar into it. We'll let it cool for a couple, down to a reasonable amount, and then we'll test that and see what kind of gravity points we got out of that. Okay, so let me let this warm up a little bit, and then we'll mix in some uh, sugar and test this out, okay? Okay, so it's uh, a little bit more than uh, room temperature, I guess you could call it. Actually, not here, it's a little chilly, anyway. We'll mix in a little bit of sugar. It's dissolving. That is one pound of just plain old table sugar. Let that continue to warm up. It should, it'll get clear once it's all dissolved. Starting to clear up now. Okay, just about dissolved down. So, whatever type of sugar you're putting in there, you know, you know give you your own judgment. Okay, so the next thing we would do is you would uh, fill up your uh, there it is. Couldn't find my phone. I know I'm gonna make a mess. So we're just gonna take a sample of that. Just like you do when you're, you're always doing. Now it's not too hot. I mean, it's just warm. That's all. Nope, nope, too much. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do. Alright, so we let our sample cool down. Let's put the hard hydrometer in there. And see what we got. She's bobbing a little bit. So we're looking right at 28, right around 28 gravity points per pound per gallon, okay? And that's just on our plain table sugar. All right. So now, and, and, and like I said before, you can, uh, you can test your, uh, any kind of processed sugars or natural sugars in this manner, okay? So now, let's get upset. We're gonna try something. 
a little bit fun. Okay, so I'll be, let me get something. I'll be right back. Okay, so the last one we did, we were going to call that uh, our sugars. Now, we need to find out gravity points per gallon. Uh, gravity points per pound per gallon for, let's say, some starches you know, we might not know. Okay, so just like before, we need one gallon of water. This one's going to be a little bit different than the sugar. It's a little bit more involved, I guess. Okay, so there is one gallon of water. And what we're going to need to do is warm it up. Okay, so when does starch conversion take place? Right around 140. 145 to 155 okay so that's where we're, we need to have this water at so let me get that up to temperature and then we're gonna show you what we're gonna do you're gonna like okay so my water's getting pretty close to up to I'm, I'm warming up to about 160 and uh, we're gonna try out our starch so what we're gonna do is just like a mini experiment let's say uh, we're going to put a little bit of enzyme, put our starch in, put a little bit of enzyme in, and then we can measure the uh, uh, gravity points per pound per gallon so we know what to do. Okay, so I've been toying around with a, uh, making a recipe of a donut whiskey. Hey, this ought to be a lot of fun. So, what we're going to do is I need to know what is the GP per pound per gallon of donuts is. Uh, and I know there's a little bit of sugar that's in the donuts, and I know there's some starches. So what I'm going to do is put the donuts in the gallon of water at the right temperature. I'll mash them all up. We'll put a little bit of uh, emulized enzyme in there. We'll maintain that temperature for a little while, and then we're going to check out and see what the answer is. Okay, I got my donuts right here. Now, all your donuts are going to be a little bit different, uh, but it's going to give you a, uh, you want to see this. So I got one pound of donuts, and we're going to try to figure out how many donuts do we need to make our donut whiskey so I'm gonna mash these up a little bit make donut soup I guess you could call it <laughs> Alright, so we got them all mashed up in there. Okay, let's double check our temperature. Now you can get your enzymes from a different, couple different ways. You can get, either get it from grains, or you're going. Uh, hey, that's about perfect. Okay, that's perfect. So you can either get it from your grains or uh, from a powdered enzyme. Okay, that you buy at your local homebrew shop. It's always good to have some on hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add half a teaspoon I mean, and that's that's way overkill let me mix that in And I'm going to give it, I don't know, about a half hour or so. 
let it do its magic, and then we'll be back. Give our donuts here. I did give it an hour. Uh, and that's letting it cool down too. So let's put the hydrometer in. Let's see what we got. I'm sitting right at 30 gravity points. So now we have a data point to go by. So with this in mind, that means we got 30 gra gravity points per pound of donuts per gallon of water. Okay? So now we can figure out if we wanted to make donut whiskey, what would how many donuts we need to get that done? Okay? So let's go to the chalkboard and we're gonna figure this out. Okay, this would be actually very easy to figure out. So if we have 30 gravity points, okay, and our magic number, what we're looking for is 1.090. That's what we want. So 30 gravity points. So per gallon, if I times that by three, that's going to give me 90. Right? So very simple. Okay, so every gallon, I'm going to need three pounds to equal my 90. All right, so then you just you just take three times six because that is what the uh, the uh, size that I'm gonna be in my perimeter. My mash will be a six gallon mash. You know, three times six equals 18. So it's very very simple. All I'm gonna need 18 pounds of donuts to make my six gallon mash. Okay, so just as a recap, I got 30 gravity points from my experiment times three, three pounds, and that's gonna give me my 90. So three times the six gallons that my uh, fermenter is, I need 18 pounds. That's pretty, pretty easy, guys, okay? Okay, so I hope you got something out of this. Uh, I'm entertained, like I said before, I'm entertaining the idea to uh, make a donut whiskey, just cause we can. Uh, and we did, we found out the, uh, the important data points that we need. Now you can use this method and you know, any way, anything that you want to ferment. I mean, if you got starches in, that's the way we do it, or the other sugar way you can figure out what you need to make the recipe you want to make. Um, okay. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I guess the last thing I got to say, thank you for stopping by and we'll see you next time.